This is a tutorial about how to use Turnitin.com. Turnitin.com checks your work against billions of sources on the internet. You should assume it will find anything previously turned in or published elsewhere. Go to your Dropbox and click on the submission you want to take a look at. For this submission, the similarity score for the paper is 44%. To see the originality report, click on the score. Scores can be red, yellow, or green. You should always look at your originality report and learn how to interpret it. The originality report will show you where the similarity index number comes from in exact detail. We will now look at some examples of what can be found on an originality report. Here's an example of what I call noise. They're little snippets that can usually be safely ignored, but make sure you take a look at them. Most good references will show up, and a reference showing up in your originality report is nothing to be worried about. We're now going to look at some things that you should worry about and things that you want to avoid. In this example, the person took the work of somebody else and tried to make it look like their own by adding a few words. Here's another example of the same thing. This shows up very clearly in Turnitin.com. If you quote correctly, there's absolutely nothing to worry about. As a matter of fact, good quotations, correctly done, are a sign of excellent scholarship. Regardless of why it is done, plagiarism is a serious academic infraction.